All right. Friday afternoon. Uh, just wanted to do a quick update, and I mean quick this time. I don't. I don't know how the other day I hit seventeen minutes, but uh, well, I can talk. But there's a lot going on. Uh, obviously, a lot going on. And uh, first of all, it's uh, the end of another week, kind of, sort of. Uh, so uh, today I'm got a nice Bulgari Blanco going here. Uh, Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. It's been a crazy day. But I want to tell you what's going on. Because it's been I did a huge update today. Well, last night, but made some more changes today. So, always I'm updating eatdrinkri.com slash to go. Got a bunch more spots in there today. It's nice. If you haven't seen it recently, I got the software to make it a spreadsheet so it's searchable and sortable. So, get your takeout for Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. Uh... There's a couple places in there doing uh, Easter, so that's still there. Uh, eatdrinkri.com slash shop is still there, and uh, I also put that in a spreadsheet so you can search now, so you can search for restaurants uh, or other food businesses that are in there for you to shop from, shop online. I was texting my friend John earlier from Yacht Club Soda. He's got online ordering on his website, and now he's got it so that you can online order and pick up at the, uh, at the factory store. So uh, get yourself some Yacht Club if you're not drinking some delicious Italian white wine. Ah, really nice. Uh, the Bear page is still there. Had some updates to the brewery page, too. Uh, a few of the Brewers Guild members sent me updates. So eatdrinkri.com slash beer. All these are right on the front of eatdrinkri.com. So if you go to, just go to eatdrinkri.com, they're there. But there's a fourth page now. Uh, I've been, as you know, very involved with, uh, stimulus conversations, uh, with, uh, our, uh, federal delegation and our state government, uh, not so much with our local leaders yet because the general assembly is not in session, but I'm sure that'll happen as well. I've been doing a lot of that with my good friend, Rick Simone, uh, who runs the Federal Hill Commerce Association and is on the Providence Tourism Council. And Rick is, uh, Rick is great. He and I were just on the phone like half an hour ago trying to read through these SBA rules. And, and we're like, that's how it sounds, right? Doesn't it sound like, yeah, it sounds like that, sure. Um, really, it's, it's it's not funny, but it's 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 at least good to know there's another good human being uh, out there uh, to go through these things with me. So with that in mind, seeing how there are more SBA uh, loans out there and available, uh, more things out there that people need to be aware of and read, uh, I created the page, eatdrinkri.com slash help. Straightforward, simple. Uh, I've got nine sections on it. I'll go through them quick here. But basically, it's a whole page with resources for uh, Rhode Island restaurants, any really small business, but, you know, obviously I'm focused on the restaurants and the food businesses, to uh, click on the links and see exactly what funding and resources are available for you. Uh, both at the national level and at the state level. So eatdrinkri.com slash help. Uh, I've got ways to contact all your representatives on there, uh, all the uh, senators and Congress people, uh, governor's office, and then on down you can search. I've got the links to the Secretary of State site where you can search and find out who your reps are and things of that nature. So that's all there. I put the two great overviews that I've seen for the CARES Act on there. Those are both linked. Uh, the official one, and then the uh, 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 an independent restaurant, the independent restaurant coalition one, which is a great group, saverestaurants.com, great group. They've been doing things. And then I've linked up uh, from the SBA website all the SBA loans and, and, and resources available. Uh, I also put Mark Hayward's email on there. He was on a, a Facebook Live this morning with uh, Congressman Cicilline and Senator Whitehouse, and several times he said, please email me at Mark Hayward, mark.hayward at sba.gov. He's the district director for Rhode Island and the regional administrator for the whole area. So I put his email there. I hope if you have questions, email him. But yeah, the EIDL loan information is there. The Paycheck Protection Program, which just came out today, and there's been a ton of questions on, is on there. The U.S. Treasury Information Sheet, links to find out if your bank is part of it. If your bank is not part of it, you can find another bank. Uh, I got that all on there. Bridge loans, debt relief, all the SBA stuff is on there linked up. You can check it out. Then the Rhode Island uh, category. Uh, Verizon has a small business fund that they're doing with LISC. 
Uh, the Commerce Department is doing a, a bridge loan for, for with through LISC as well, and the Rhode Island Foundation and the United Way are doing uh, uh, grants for nonprofits. So got all those linked up. Uh, on the city level, Mayor Alorza and and uh, his his administration put together a great Providence Business Loan Fund. Uh, it's their standard Providence Business Loan Fund, but we're pushing it out there. So you should check that out if you're a Providence business. East Providence also has two uh, funds. And Pawtucket has a fund. And if there are other city uh, resources, I will. You're, you're welcome, Tina. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. If there are other city resources, I'll link them up as well. I got a section for the unemployment unemployment insurance. As we've discussed this week and has seen many many a tweets, uh, our DLT, our Rhode Island Department of Labor and Training, is way backed up. If I if I may if I may curse, they're backed the fuck up apparently. Uh, but they're there. And that's how you do your unemployment. Uh, they're in communication with the federal government to figure out how unemployment works for self-employed uh, small business owners. So that's still not live yet. Uh, but I, the link, I put the link to sign up for when it is. So that's all there. Uh, then I added a couple of other sections. Uh, because there's lots of other things out there that I think are pertinent to what's going on right now. Uh, obviously, I linked to the Department of Health because the Department of Health website has got a ton of information on their COVID-19 page. And uh, I've been talking with, working with the Rhode Island Food Policy Council, of which I used to be a member and I'm still a, a proud supporter. Uh, they're working with the Department of Health to try and get SNAP uh, resources out to uh, more people that can use them in restaurants. So I linked that up. I, I linked up my other three pages because I, I hope they're resources for people. Uh, that's on the state level. On the national level, I linked to the Independent Restaurant Coalition, which, I, like I said, I love what they're doing. I linked to uh, the James Beard Foundation because I also think they're doing fantastic work. Uh, I linked to the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation, which you haven't seen that website. They are really a fantastic nonprofit. And then I linked to the CDC because we should have real factual information about the COVID-19 and not crazy shit. Uh, and then last but not least, by any means, I thought it'd be a good idea. I linked up uh, four different uh, sections, four different places on mental health uh, resources. Uh, part of the reason I did that was I, I saw the Rhode Island Foundation announced a, a behavioral health fund grant that they're giving to nonprofits that help with mental health. And then I thought of three national groups that might be useful uh, for people's mental health at this time. Uh, if you have uh, any... Uh, Crises concerns, uh, please, on the bottom of the page there, uh, mental health resources. Uh, I can highly recommend uh, Kat Kinsman's Chefs with Issues Facebook group. She's phenomenal. She's written a great book, and uh, she uh, works for uh, Food & Wine magazine and does really nice work. But I also linked up the Crisis Text Line and the Ben's Friends uh, uh, substance abuse page as well. So that's all on eatdrinkri.com slash help. I'm probably going way longer than I want to go, but that's life. And have another sip of wine. If you go to eatdrinkri.com, all four of those pages are right there on the front. Um, please support however you can our restaurants through to go or shop. If you need help, you want to know what's going on, hopefully that, that page has got all the resource, resources for you. I also have a link at the top of my page to Dorcas uh, for translation into Spanish if needed. Uh, uh, that actually was a great suggestion by Nick Vincelette, who works for Senator Whitehouse. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yeah, Nick saw the page and was very, very helpful. He said, hey, you know, there are lots of Spanish-speaking folk that might be able to access these resources. So I, I, my Spanish is good, but not great enough to write. But I was able to write out two sentences to say, click on this, go to Dorcas, and Dorcas can do translation services for you. Uh, that's all there on the help page. And then uh, I hope... Uh, it helps. That's that's all I that's all I got. Um, I, I hope uh, all of you out there are doing as best as you can. I miss interacting with people. I had a really great Zoom meeting last night uh, with a bunch of folks. So my friend Susan uh, from Revival and uh, Armando from Baco and Mark, who runs Fireworks Catering. Mark and I commiserated on all our events going away. Uh, and Anne Marie was on it as well and, and uh it was run by Venture Cafe and Avi was running it and Amy and, and they're sweet people. Uh I'm gonna go make some bolognese because that's what I feel like right now. I got some ground lamb from Hopkins and some ground beef from Blackbird as always. Uh I I usually use a little white wine in my bolognese but this this is really good. I don't know if I want to use this. I might open another cheaper white wine to cook with. 
and just keep drinking this until I open a red to eat with the bolognese. Drink with the bolognese when I eat it. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I got kind of low viewership right now on the live. I, I guess four o'clock on Friday isn't the best time, but um, I'll pop this. Obviously, this stays on there and it keeps going. And then I pop this on Instagram as well. I pop it onto YouTube uh, to share on Twitter. Uh, I, you know, this is a crazy, crazy time. And uh, if this is the best way we connect, connect uh, for now, then I appreciate all of you watching and sharing and listening and saying thank yous and kind words and tagging your friends to watch. And uh, it's really heartwarming. Uh, it was a kind of an overwhelming week. I'll be honest. Uh, it's just so much going on. Uh, the SBA stuff was encouraging and at the same time difficult to navigate. Um, so thanks again to Rick, uh, for being a good friend and, uh, thank you to everyone out there. Thank you to, uh, everyone doing what they're doing and I appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you very much. Take care.